Hi everybody, it's Meep from the Game Throne here and today I'm going to help you with a nice tutorial on how to defeat William Birkin or G Stage 1 on Resident Evil 2 Hardcore Mode. This is the first playthrough and I've got very little ammo going into this fight which is what the biggest complaint has been so far. People saying the fight is unbeatable because there's not enough ammunition in the room. With this particular technique you will need a combat knife and it will make it a ton easier. In the first room, just after the save point, make sure you collect the shotgun shells, head down the lift and use any healing items you need to get yourself to full health and of course bring healing items with you. This is a pretty tough boss fight as I'm sure you'll be aware by the fact you are looking up this video. Then head all the way downstairs and there's a free hand grenade on the floor. These survival items are going to be absolutely key to surviving this fight however we don't want to use them in emergency situations so rule number one is stay away from William or G we'll call him G just to save time head through to the boss fight and move the cabinet which I'm sure you're absolutely sick of doing by now then as soon as the boss fight loads I'll skip the cutscene here as soon as the boss fight loads make sure you turn immediately right and sprint into the far corner of the room Okay, so let's skip the cutscene just to save time. Then we immediately turn right, sprint into the far corner. And in this little area, we're going to pick up three items. We're going to get hand, handgun bullets, a free, another free grenade, and then a herb as well. Then immediately turn and sprint to the next corner of the room. At this point, G will be catching up to you. Pick up the handgun bullets and then pick up and combine in one screen the herbs. If he gets close to you, don't panic, just keep moving. We'll explain more about this shortly. Head to the final corner of the room with items in it. And you're going to pick up one more set of handgun ammunition. And then one more herb. And this has again been the biggest complaint that there's not enough ammo to defeat this boss if you've expended it previously in the police station. What we're going to do is very carefully run around the room making sure not to get trapped. I've marked out several looping sections here. Basically don't run into a corner. Again, as I stated earlier, you're going to need a combat knife to make this fight much easier. Without the combat knife, it's still doable, but very, very difficult. The more times you fail at this boss, the easier it gets. The game adapts the difficulty based on your current situation. You may have noticed that previously in the police station, by certain items being there on a different playthrough compared to the one before you loaded it. Obviously, by now you've figured out that the main objective is to shoot him in the eye that appears on his right shoulder or camera left. You know if you hit the eye because the blood that comes out of him is orange and it makes a different sound effect, like a large squelch. Do be careful as he can change directions as seen here and he does this several times. The eye does not need to be open in order to shoot it. You just need to hit the right spot on the body. So don't take panic shots. And if you think you're going to miss, don't pull the trigger. Only shoot if you know you're going to hit. And even then, this can be very difficult. There. This is where most people are going wrong. When he turns back into what we'll call William, run up to him and knife the living hell out of him. He can, he's not very good at hitting you, and as long as you stay behind him and move when he's swinging, he's not going to catch you very easily. And even if he does, sometimes it doesn't do damage like you just saw. Stay to his back and knife, 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 knife. The combat knife will last way long enough to get this done. What that will do is, first of all, add extra damage in that you are missing out by depending on just the handgun ammunition. And second of all, it will bring the eye back quicker into the fight so you can get back to doing real damage. Do be careful. When you're close to him, it can be hard to see that the eye has opened up again. And if you are still near him, he will grab you and do his most damaging attack, which will take you on hardcore mode right down to uh, danger on your health bar. We are then going to rinse and repeat this. As you can see here, I'm running around. I'm not even at this point trying to bait out his attacks. You can do this with time. He will just change between the two modes, G and William, on his own. When you do take shots at the eye, try to do it using your mind's eye, especially if you're using a controller rather than a mouse and keyboard. 
and line the shot up so that he walks into it or aim the camera so that when Leon turns around the gun is already aimed over the top of him over the top of where the eye is and as you can see here I'm not taking any risks and he starts to change on his own I didn't shoot him he just does it when that happens run up to him again and knife him move around knife maybe two to three hits with a knife some of the attacks that you just saw will catch you but even then they don't do all that much damage just keep an eye on your health you should have at least one and a half full heals even if you didn't have any healing items from the safe room some of the attacks for whatever reason don't damage you they just stagger you which is fantastic if like you can see here the eye opens up and you're still near to him you can indeed knife the eye for extra damage but do bear in mind that that's probably a good time to run away um, there are three stages to this fight so the first one is just walking around transitioning between what we earlier established as G and later William so going between the two stages this is stage two where he starts to hide from you instead when he jumps down like that don't panic just hold down on the d-pad and back away even though you're not sprinting those shots will miss and you'll then have enough time to move around again when he drops down even if the last time you saw him the eye was out the eye is now gone giving you yet another chance to get free damage with the combat knife this is why it's important that we don't get grabbed by him so stay away because if we use that knife and you haven't got another one spare you're taking away massive damage potential you'll still you'll see here that I've got a full clip and a bit left of ammunition and already the eye is starting to change color which is another good point that I'll assume you know by now but just in case if the eye is nice and bright he's got full health and when it starts to turn red and darker that means you're getting closer and closer to killing him in this stage if he disappears first of all check your immediate surroundings because there have been plenty of times while I was practicing this fight that I thought he'd gone up into the rafters above and he hadn't he just turned around and gone a different direction surprised me and grabbed me even if he grabs you like this in a corner all you've got to do is back away from him slowly and he will miss those shots don't panic get back in and use the knife if you're unsure if he's upstairs or downstairs listen for what sounds like a woman walking around in high heels that's the sound effect of him walking around upstairs trying to position himself so that he can jump down on you and then you'll know he's definitely not on the same level as you are as you can see here I took some damage don't panic heal first then run that way if he catches you you're not gonna die with a bit of practice you could do this even better than this I've seen few runs online where people have taken no damage whatsoever if you get a stagger on him make sure not to suddenly go crazy with the handgun take your time and make sure each one of those shots goes into the eye otherwise you're just doing tiny chip damage and it's not worth the cost in ammunition here you can see I'm checking left and right because I thought he'd gone upstairs and he hasn't and then he started chasing me and again I just take my time and try to hit that eye sometimes you're gonna miss but with this method it doesn't matter too much just be careful okay now we're entering towards the third stage of the fight where he no longer transitions between G and William he no longer goes upstairs he just roids out and starts chasing you if you're unsure if you're on this stage in the fight there are two key indicators one is the eye is very bloodshot two is when he makes the sound that he does to transition between G and William his eye stays out rather than going away at this point is where you want to start using the rest of your survival items in fact you can see even in recording this video I made the mistake of thinking he was in the third stage but the, what I just said is still true once he's in the third stage that's where we're going to use our two flash grenades if we've got them you might not have them but definitely our two grenades I messed this up in this video and still managed to get away with it and as you can see there I've staggered him and I'm not rushing my shots I'm not going full auto I'm just taking my time trying to get as many accurate eye shots as possible when he starts chasing you in the third stage it can be very difficult to stay away from him because he's now literally bolting towards you and if you're on low health the lower your health is the slower Leon moves it can be even more difficult there's another good example of him turning corners and surprising us but what you want to do is wait patiently for him to swing the closer he is to you the more likely he is to swing but don't risk 
losing 10 minutes worth of running around in circles for the sake of trying to bait an attack. It will happen eventually. Just learn to bait him into corners gently so that he tries to swing and he's definitely going to miss. If you've got flash grenades, use those first. So you're going to flash him and then you're going to shoot him in the eye whilst he's stunned. As long as you throw the flash grenade rather than do it as a reaction, it stuns him for quite a while. Just remember that you'll need to be positioned to his right when you flash him. Otherwise, you might not be able to get a clean shot at the eye, which can be quite difficult due to the narrow corridors. This room here is a good place to try the flash grenade. As you can see, I thought about it. But it's not always that easy, so do pick your moments and take your time. Try to lure him down long corridors if you want to get a few more pistol shots in. If you need to at this stage, and you'll see that I do, I do eventually get caught by him and I had to use my flash grenade in order to escape because I didn't want to lose the fight. However, make sure that in the previous sections you didn't accidentally use your knife because that's just literally throwing away free shots, the replacement for your pistol ammo. We're almost at the end of the fight, so if there's any more questions, please put them in the comments down below. But all we need to do from here is, yeah, I tried to flash him. I messed it up, and for some reason he gets animation invincibility, so I had to use my flash grenade. You still get a few chance, chances to get uh, shots on the eye, but it lasts way longer if you throw the flash rather than do it as a uh, survival item. Take a bit of damage, and now you can see that the eye is very red. He's chasing me very quickly. I'm low on health, so I've got to keep an eye on that. And from here, we're going to start being a bit more aggressive now got two grenades that we've purposefully saved until the end of this fight all we're gonna do is wait for a golden opportunity to throw them by baiting him out waiting for that attack see I cancelled out of a throw there don't be don't be afraid to cancel your shot as long as you haven't pulled the trigger you can just run away from it relatively unscathed time wise wait for the attack now we know we've got time to turn and line up that grenade shot, throw it early, and that's going to stagger him. It gives you a chance to get some shots in, and if you haven't killed him by now, you've got one more grenade left to do that with, and there you go, that's how to do it. So just to recap, when he's William at the start, you want to knife him as much as possible. Every time he turns into William, stay close and go absolutely crazy with the knife, run when the eye comes out. Then dodge and shoot the eye until he's almost dead. Finish him with grenades and any extra pistol shots. And here you can see I still have plenty of ammo left. In fact, I've come out with more ammo than I went in with. Perseverance is key. It gets easier the more you try it. Don't give up. And you got this. Again, any questions, put them in the comments. Please consider subscribing and all the other things that YouTubers say. Thank you very much. Bye.